In this part of our expert guide to journal publishing, we will prepare you for what to expect from the peer review process after you submit to your chosen journal. We will consider an editor's first reactions to your paper, look at what it takes to get a paper reviewed and the decisions you can expect to receive. As we discuss in our How Different Journals Approach Peer Review video, there are a wide range of processes and timeframes over which your review may be conducted. It may take several months for the journal to complete the review process, which typically involves the editor reading the article and deciding whether to send it for review, recruiting sufficient numbers of reviewers and receiving all the feedback, and assessing the reviews and making a decision on the paper. If you have followed the tips in our guide, you will hopefully have submitted your article to the perfect journal and your article will be sent for reviewing. Our Aims and Scope and Instructions for Authors videos provide details on why papers are immediately rejected, but here's a quick reminder of the most common reasons. The research is not relevant for the aims and scope of the journal. The structure of the paper fails to comply with instructions for authors. Language or writing issues mean that it cannot be understood. Similarity checking reveals a large amount of matching text, or the methodology is fatally flawed. Once you pass the initial screening, a member of the editorial team will begin searching for reviewers to provide feedback on your work. In some instances, this process takes only a few weeks, but sometimes it can be a long and frustrating procedure that can take over a year. It is not an easy task to find two or three subject area experts with enough free time to review a paper. The Publon State of Global Peer Review Report from 2018 suggests it takes five invitations to secure two reviewers, and the total number of review invitations sent has increased at a rate of 10% year on year. Patience is key, but you should also be able to send inquiries after some time if you do not hear any news. Once the editor has received all comments, feedback and recommendations from the reviewers, they will make a decision on the paper. These decisions may be called different terms, but will usually fit into one of four categories. Accept. This is the goal, but very rare to receive on a first submission. Minor revisions. The paper is likely to be accepted after small changes. A major revision decision is given to papers that require extensive changes. These can be to address explanations in the clarity of concepts, the results or presentation of figures, or the conclusions. Reject, revise and resubmit decisions are given to papers that may not be acceptable for the journal, even when responses to all reviewer comments have been provided. And finally, reject. The paper is unsuitable or unacceptable for the journal in this form or any alternate version. In the next video, we will give you insights and advice on how to respond to each of these decisions through revising, choosing different journals or getting accepted. For more ideas to help you identify journals and feel confident about submitting your paper, read through our full Expert Guide to Journal Publishing series and watch the other videos which look at why we publish in journals, aims and scope, instructions for authors, citation and alternative metrics, research and publishing ethics and predatory journals.